What's up, YouTube? This is yours truly, 808 Moto Lifestyles, coming at you live and direct from, of course, Honolulu. Yeah. I'm going to do this quick unboxing of my new Sony 18 to 105 millimeter F4 G O double S. You know what I'm talking about. Optical steady shot. Um, so it was a it was a good long debate between to pick up this whether or not to pick up this lens or pick up the uh, the 10 to 18 millimeter. And at the end of the day, um, not having either of these two lenses. Uh, it just made more sense to go with this one because of the versatility that it offers, especially when I'm looking at primarily using a lot of uh, using it for a lot of gimbal work. Um, needless to say, with the, the focal length and the constant aperture, um, can't go wrong with this, you know what I mean? So instead of having to change from prime lens to prime lens and rebalancing the gimbal, which some of you already know can be a pain in the you know what. So to save myself some headaches. Um, yeah, I figured this was the best buy at the right time. And yeah, I got it from Best Buy. Speaking of which, uh, Best Buy has a uh, curbside pickup program. <laughs> so that simply means you order online. Um, they'll let you know when your order is ready. You roll up to the spot. Um, as you're rolling in, you can check in on the app saying, hey, I'm here to pick up my order. Uh, it's a little text box you put in your vehicle description your license plate color your vehicle what kind of make model whatever real simple and next thing you know you're talking to someone and boom they get your name and they may or may not ask for your order number <clears throat> excuse me and told you and they'll give you a, an assigned parking stall and it's just that simple and i can honestly tell you that when i went to go pick this lens up it was like before i can really put the car in park and even pick up my phone or just start to like, okay, let me just cool out for a little bit before somebody comes out to the car. They were already there at the window. So real quick process, real, uh, real smooth, um, in and out. Uh, unfortunately, this is the world we live in at the moment. So, Hey, it works. Um, the service and, and the speed and exponential, uh, exponentiality in which, uh, everything transpired. I couldn't, I, I don't have any complaints. So, yeah, so curbside pickup, real easy. So back to the lens. Uh, again, it's a G Master. It's my first G Master lens. I have a series of lenses for my uh, Sony A6400, but this is my first G Master lens. Um, just better glass, I suppose, you know. Um, coming over from a Canon system, uh, I used to shoot on a 5D Mark II uh, for years, and that included everything from weddings to concerts to uh you name it bridal showers the backyard barbecues and first birthdays so anyway without any further ado let's see what we got in the box i'm not going to go over any really tech specs on this lens this is not a new piece of glass it's been out for quite some time uh there's other people out there that have been dealing with the sony system way longer than me and way smarter than me when it comes to a lot of that other stuff so i just wanted to basically do a boxing Oh, with you guys. Um, hopefully you're liking the new content. I am making myself get more and more consistent. Uh, and there's no excuse. Uh, I'm finished with school for now. Don't have any plans on really enrolling in any classes anytime soon due to all the uh, COVID-19 situations. So let's see what we got here. Linswood. I know some people say, yeah, okay, whatever, 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 who cares? But I tell you what, let them stop supplying you with the lens hood. And you'll hear people griping like, oh, I spent all this money on the lens and oh, lens hood. What? Wow. That's so sorry of these guys. But anyway, let's take a look. Mm, telephoto, wide. And again, this is for a Sony E-mount system. Uh, this lens is, it looks really big and bulky. It does have a little bit of size to it, but I will say um, that there, the weight on it is not too bad actually. And yeah. 
So like I was saying, <clears throat> yeah, I'm just showing signs and it's actually a little indentation right there. So yeah, we got a problem. So that will be going to Best Buy first thing in the morning. Um, again, I get it. Understand with all the situations and things going on behind the uh, COVID-19. Um, when I shop for certain things, <laughs> and I think I just said this in uh, my last video. Um, I don't know. I just get feelings about uh, boxes and things of that nature and whatnot. Uh, and I like to pick up and put my hands on my own merchandise before I purchase it. Um, I get that things get returned to stores. Nothing wrong with that. But when it's being resold as brand new and it's clearly not, that I do have a problem with. So, needless to say, um, my first order of business tomorrow will be dealing with Best Buy and expressing my feelings on this here situation. Which is too bad because, I mean, I actually just went through and gave them praise for their system and how they're doing everything with the curbside pickup. But um, at almost $700, this is unacceptable to me. So... Yeah, and I'm seeing some other things you might, may or may not be able to see in, on the uh, camera. But, yeah, it just doesn't work for me. Like, for instance, right there. That's a smudge. It's a deep smudge, actually. And then... It's another little... I just found a nick, if you will, in the lens. So, yeah, right there. Some people may think that, oh, that's so petty, or it may have happened in shipping or whatever. Uh, nah. Nah. I'm not new to photography. I'm not new to picking up new electronic types of gear or anything of that nature. Um, and this just looks a little bit weather-worn, to be honest. So, like I said, uh, I'll be talking with Beth Bye tomorrow, and I will be sure to update how that went but um yeah uh, i'm gonna exchange this out tomorrow for the same lens and i won't leave until i open it out take it out of the box um just unacceptable at that time i'll tell them they can keep it they can either give me my money back voluntarily or i will make a claim against the charges on my account okay Sorry guys, I was hoping to do a little bit more with the lens tonight as far as the unboxing I was going to get a few shots and things and do a couple of little You know comparisons with some other other lenses that I have laying around some Sigma as well as other Sony lenses But I guess that'll wait because I'm not going to touch it. Let's go back into the bubble wrap and That's that Mahalo and Aloha 808 Motor Lifestyles See you Yeah